We're having a day hanging out in Shoreditch. Hayley's got the camera out and we just bought a disposable because, you know, life. So I have this bad boy to take pictures on for the rest of the day. I actually am quite frustrated that we can't see these for like a, a few days. What? Why did it say so sad? Waiting for photos to be taken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take one. Tuesday. Hayley has now gone home. Joe has now gone home. It's just me and Adrian and I'm gonna have a bit of a work day. So I've actually got um, another event today with Pandora. So I'm gonna be heading over to that like three-ish and Adrian is doing a shoot today. But I think we might just get stuff, well I say we, I might just get some filming done because I want to kind of back up my videos a little bit. Oh my god this dent in my head has got so much worse because I walked into a wall. <laughs> I have not a water covered yesterday, it was pretty sore. But um, yeah, I want to kind of get ahead of myself a little bit with videos. So I'm thinking I might just kind of get some inspiration going, think up some ideas and just edit and get videos filmed and that kind of thing. Just so that I've got it there and it's done and I can then just schedule them live and I'm ahead of myself. I have got Sunday's video 90% filmed, we just need to film the other two or three in the lookbook. So that's Sunday's video that you'll have seen the day before this goes up. And then I'm trying to decide what video I want to go up tomorrow because I have one backlogged but I don't know if I want to use that or another one so gonna see how I feel um and yeah get some videos filmed you may notice something different um we've just actually moved the room around a tiny bit let me show you and you might be able to kind of see what I'm talking about hang on I don't know if you really remember but this used to be on the other side of the bed so we've actually moved it back to where we had it before so now when you walk in you've got like a dressing area here with a carpet that needs a hoover um, and all the shoes and stuff. So you can kind of get dressed in this part of the room. And then over there is like our workspace. So we've kind of just like freed this space up a little bit. That all needs to go. So just ignore that and like all of that and this and stuff. But yeah, this is now our like workspace. Which is actually how we had the room when we very first moved in. If you watched the moving vlogs and stuff, I'll leave them linked down below because I did vlog when we first moved in. Yeah, we just moved it because we thought we wanted more space like that side of the room because it's the side we use more, but actually, now that we've moved it back it makes more sense to have it like this just because it kind of feels a bit more like the bed isn't taking over the room which it felt a bit like before you might notice also that the bed is stripped we are currently waiting on a new mattress topper to come so we had to change the bedding anyway because it's been on for a couple, like about a week so we just took it off and we thought we'll just wait till the new the new mattress protector comes because we bought like one of the thick duck feather down ones um well it's not actually duck feather it's like fake duck feather it's like the down one that isn't actually duck it's like animal free does that make sense? Waiting for that to come because it's what my mum has and it makes sleeping like, it, it feels like you're sleeping on a cloud. So we just can't wait for that to come. And I'm about to sit and film some videos. So the video ideas I've got in my head at this current moment is my top items for spring. Why I'm not traveling so much at the moment. Staying motivated at the gym. What was the other ones? Dating a younger guy, which I want to do with Adrian because I feel like it would be a good video to film with him. I don't know. I feel like it'd be better to film with him because I think then you've got both sides of the story, like dating an older girl, dating a younger guy. And also what's in my makeup bag, because I do get asked what makeup I use quite a lot, so I thought it'd be quite a good one to just show you like what's actually in my makeup bag and what I actually use. And in honesty, like I've got lookbooks and stuff coming up, but I don't really know, like I feel like the spring ones and stuff, or like my favourite denim of the moment and that kind of thing, they're all videos that I've got in the pipeline, it's just like getting the time to actually sit down and film them, but because I've got, what time is it now? Because I have to leave at like three, so I've got about... Mm, three hours it's 1202 so we've got about three hours to get some stuff filmed and i might as well just make the most of it and just like pump out content because if i can do it i might as well the washing machine is the only noise you can actually hear because the builders are being quite quiet at the moment and they don't seem well as i've just said that i've realized they're putting like a pickup digger thing oh, let me show you out the window this is the progress since i last showed you like a week ago or something so this is what it currently looks like these things have all moved in they've concreted like the whole space and they've now got like whatever that is and these two little guys but that thing has just moved in and it looks like it's about to pick these up so that could be fun literally the reality of living in london 
you can't get away from it but um i've actually found a few places now i don't know if you remember a couple of weeks ago i spoke about it but i've actually found a few places now where you can go and film and like use them for the day there's a few like hotels and that kind of thing so i'm gonna try and just kind of get hotel rooms for the day or get airbnb airbnbs overnight and that kind of thing just so we've got places we can film and then when I go there, I can just sit down and film like three or four videos in one go. And Adrian also bought these, which are supposedly going to help me film. So these are actually for him, but they're just wireless cameras. So you basically just tuck this in your back pocket and then feed the little mini mic up under your top. And then basically you can film so you can hear me a lot better than the camera would if it's far away, if that makes sense. So it'll be better for like on the rails and stuff, but yeah. I'm gonna get ahead and start filming because I need to start filming and I'm gonna make myself another coffee and get on with the day. <sighs> I was about to film a video just now and the builders have decided to be really noisy again so video is fine but this was the video, just can't film it now. I'm getting so sick of this noise. They're barely noisy anymore apart from when I'm home and it's really annoying. I'm on the way to the Pandora event now but I'm running late so I can't check with them now. <laughs> At this time tomorrow, there's something you need. Oh, we have another iPhone vlog because I am currently walking to the train station and my camera is in there and I can't get to it. But I'm on the way to shoot with Kay. Sorry about the noise of the suitcase. I'm on the way to shoot with Kay. Really looking forward to it. I'm in a very good mood because it's sunny. And yeah, I'm also trying to order a Starbucks so I can pick it up as I swing through because I'm running a little bit late. I am back home from shooting. Me and Kay had a really, really, really productive couple of hours. We shot so much stuff and I cannot wait to show you it. So she's just shooting and stuff at the moment, so it'll probably be like tomorrow or something that I get it. Just realised we can go pick up the disposable camera in like an hour. What time is it? It's 15, 19. 19? Yeah, okay, in like 40 minutes we can go and pick it up. I can pick it up from four. So that is very exciting. I've just filmed the video for tonight, which I know last minute Sally over here. I do it every week, but... I have just filmed the video for tonight. Um, I'm gonna try and use tomorrow because I'm not really doing anything. I'm gonna try and use tomorrow to get more videos filmed. Like I know I said yesterday I was gonna, but the builders outside are just getting really, really noisy at the moment. So we're having a bit of a hoo-ha with that. Getting some washing done at the moment. I've just had a couple of exciting presents I wanted to show you. So I'm gonna go get the washing out quickly, then show you the prezzies that have just turned up when I've cleared the mess off the bed. <laughs> okay, we are temporarily back on the iPhone because the G7X has actually just died while I was filming this clip, but yeah, the bits that I wanted to show you, can we turn that because it's like blinding me. Uh, the bits that I wanted to show you are basically a few bits that just turned up right now. So this is actually the first one, which is, as you can see from Google, so they've invited me down to their mini pop-up in London for a donut shop. Um, and basically we get to pick up a Google Home mini device during the launch event if we take along this. So that's really exciting. I actually really wanted a Google Mini because, uh, Google Home Mini, because they're actually really, really handy and having one in the kitchen and stuff means that you can get like recipes up, you can play music on them, you can ask the weather on them, all that kind of stuff and I just think they're really cool to have. It's basically a bit of a gadget freak kind of thing. And me and Adrian are massive gadget freaks, aren't we? We have like, like me some gadgets. We have a bit of everything in our lives. So this is what turned up and he has been bugging me to talk about this on the camera for about 25 minutes because of the fact that he wants it. Um, basically, it was this little box, and then when you open the box, there is two of the most delicious looking donuts you've ever seen in your entire life. Oh, they're stuck together. So there's just a chalky one here, and then there's like a classic Simpsons donut, which is bright pink here, which is obviously gonna be mine. Um, and they look delicious, so can't wait to eat those. And I also can't wait to head down to the pop-up, because I'm really excited to see what they do as well, because I feel like pop-ups and stuff for Google are always really cool. So thank you very much to Google for that. No, I haven't, but they always do really cool events and stuff, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Um, then we have a parcel, well, I say parcel, this actually came from a meeting last week and I forgot to talk about it, which is from Nude by Nature, which is a brand that I got my eyebrows done at at the Glamour Beauty Festival last week, if you saw that vlog, or the week before, the week before. Um, so they just kindly gifted me a few little bits from the range. So I'm going to do a whole blog post on this because I'm actually really, really passionately in love with this range. I actually really like the eyebrow stuff. Um, so the first thing is the Natural Brow Definition Palette, which is just a little palette for your eyebrows, obviously, as it says. Um, then we have this, which is the 
refining, refining, defining brow pencil. Again, in dark brown, because obviously my eyebrows are dark brown. Then there is a Shimmering Sands Loose Eyeshadow in White Sands, which apparently is a really, really nice kind of neutral colour. Then we have this, which is an eyebrow brush, and I actually love the fact that this comes in like this little pot, and the colour of the brushes is gorgeous. I want the whole collection, it is amazing. It's like this really nice kind of like bronzy colour, and like a bit dark, it's really, really cool. And then, because if you guys remember, I'm actually still using brushes that I bought cheapy from Boots because of the fact that our, my makeup bag got stolen in South Africa. If you want to catch up on that vlog, I will leave it linked down below and in a card. But yeah, I basically lost my whole makeup bag. So all my makeup brushes are kind of like building back up from that situation. And I've got like odds and ends all over the place. Then we have a Precision Brown Mascara, which I religiously use every single day. I love brown mascaras. And then the final product is the Radiant Loose Powder Foundation. Yeah. Um, these are all really great products. I also love the fact that it's all natural. It's all, I believe, vegan, but I can't remember, so don't hold me to that if it's not, because I know that people get quite funny about things like that, but I'm pretty sure it's vegan, and the packaging and stuff is just so nice, and everything just looks really fancy. Like, if I show you... Oh, how do I get this out? Okay, I can't get it out. It's, it's, yeah, I'll show you another time. But it's all really nice packaging. Um, I was having a look at it at the event, and I also did film it at the event, so you can see it there. Then, um, second to last thing I wanted to show you. The second to last thing we have is actually a box of products from Murad, which you guys already know that I am really liking at the moment. So this is their Environmental Shield um, collection. So basically all products that are, <laughs> all products that are specially formulated to help with like pollution and that kind of thing if you live in a city. Um, I really like the sound of it. It's also got SPF, so if I go somewhere hot, I can use it there. And I thought I'd just show you the collection in the box. So the first thing we have is the Essential C Cleanser, which is a step one. Then we have the Essential C Toner, which is also a step one. Then we have the, yeah, then we have the treatment one, which is the Advanced Active Radiant Serum. These are massive boxes, if you can't really tell, they're so big. Then there is the Essential C Eye Cream, which is an SPF 15, perfect for traveling or just being in London, because you should do this, use SPF wherever you are. Then we have the Day Moisturiser, which is an SPF 30, which is even better. And then finally, we have the City Skin Age Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Sun Cream. So this is literally for if I go to like South Africa or something and I really need a sun cream. But amazing range of products, absolutely loving those. Um, heard great things about them, haven't tried any of them yet, but I'm really excited to try them out this week and kind of give them a review on the blog and that kind of thing. I don't know whether to do like blog review or whether to do like YouTube review because I feel like I don't know what you guys would watch or read more of so let me know um, and then the final thing so thing one is from the event last night which is this blooming cool um, denim jacket I keep calling this a leather jacket denim jacket from Pandora so it's just a personalised jacket which says Pandora on the back and then it's got like an embroidered diamond ring and I just think that's really cool but they also embroidered the front, so the front just has a JS on the pocket, and obviously that's my initials, so I think this is really, really cool. Pandora are kind of queens of personalising stuff, they are amazing. Then, this came in the post today, and it's just a giant box, it did have a gold bow on it, the gold bow is now gone, but <laughs> inside the box is basically a little note to say hello, and it just says, we hereby crown you an official ambassador. We hope you like your Pandora Shine crown ring from the new collection, and we look forward to working with you more. So, inside here, there is, like, a crown thing, which I think would be a really cool prop if I'm doing, like, a cool shoot or something, or Adrian can use it for a shoot. Or, like, just, you know. Do you think I should wear it more often? Look at this. And then, I've just realised I've actually took the ring off, but there's also this little cushion at the bottom of the box, so, like, you opened it up and it was just, like, the cushion in the bottom. And then the cushion was strapped to a ring and then the ring was just like on it. I thought that was so, so cute and I definitely think this is gonna be a great little flat lay prop. I'm currently cleaning up the bathroom. It is Thursday afternoon. I've had a really productive day. I went to the gym at like seven in the morning. Um, I went to the gym at seven o'clock this morning and then I came home, got some work done. So I've edited a video, I've done two blog posts like not written the whole things but like I've um, scheduled them in and all that malarkey and then I've come into the bathroom to kind of clean up our bathroom because we have we have this because obviously we do get sent so much beauty stuff as you guys see in the videos and I don't even show you everything like there is so much stuff so this basket from H&M 
if you're wondering, lives under our sink and it's basically just full of stuff that we don't know what to do with. So it's kind of like extra products. So for example, we have like a million and one spare um, shampoo and conditioners and all that kind of stuff because we just have so much of it. So I thought I'd kind of go through and show you some of the random bits that are in there and kind of like talk through you while I'm doing it because that's the kind of thing I know some people like to see, like me clearing out products and whatever. Empty. This is going in our shower because we've just finished up the other one. I think the other one was, we just finished the three minute miracle reconstructor, which was amazing for my hair. And it was on a three for two offer or something. So there is another one in there, but we also got stop the break. And the other one is nourish. So there is three. I'm just gonna put this one in the shower. So that's like our top up one. We actually have so many products in our shower. This is one of the things I needed to sort because we kind of leave everything dumped in here. These need a wash. So they're gonna go in the wash in a minute. So in our little shower caddy, we just have a oh my god it's all like so gross and covered in product yes i am wiping my shower products we just have in the shower this which actually needs to come out because it's basically empty but i'm gonna leave it until it's finished so we've got the breakfast scrub from soap and glory which is just like a scrub for when i do fake tan and stuff we've got a sheer butter hair mask from maui moisture which i've talked about on instagram before but i absolutely love their stuff i'm gonna do kind of like a full blog post on the bits and pieces because I do really like them. And they're vegan, so if you're vegan, worth knowing. We've actually got this as well, which is a water boost, simple micellar facial gel wash. Really good for a first thing in the morning when obviously like you've got no makeup on, it's just good to like give your face a little clean. Um, then currently we're using, well I say we, I was using this, but I'm actually testing something else now, which I've just took out the shower. No, I haven't. Um, this is the one that both of us have been using recently, which is the Revive and Hydrate Shea Butter Maui Moisture, which is the same as the hair mask. That's a really, really good shampoo and conditioner if you're wanting something new to try. But I am currently trying the um, L'Oreal range. So I've got the Siri Expert Magnesium Silver Shampoo that I'm giving a go at the moment. And then I've also got the Vitamino Color range. So I'm trying the shampoo and the conditioner and the hair mask is somewhere. I don't know what I've done with it, but it's somewhere. So that's also in the shower. And then Adrian also has his tea tree facial, facial scrub. Our little shower thing is actually pretty full. It probably shouldn't be so full. Um, then where's our shower gel? Shower gel, we currently have the Appy Vita Tonic Mountain Tea Shower Gel. This was given to me by a brand, but it's really good. It's quite nice and like freshing, refreshing for the morning. Okay, I'm gonna start tackling this box, but I figured you'd probably wanna see what I'm doing to it because I'm gonna show you my bathroom right now and you're probably gonna cry. So, this is what I'm currently looking at, other side of the camera. So there is just products absolutely everywhere. So I've literally emptied this cupboard out because you've never really seen my bathroom, but we have this little cupboard here. The basket goes under there and then we have like bags of stuff that just sit on the side. Basically, because being a blogger means you have too much stuff and the fact that I don't have anywhere to like really put it at the moment is becoming quite an issue because there's just so much, as I said. So I'm just gonna go through and kind of like, I'm gonna kneel on the floor because it's easier, but I'm gonna kind of go through here and work out things that I want, don't want, and things that can like just be kept for a later date, but everything is super, super dusty. So I'm currently using like little cloths to, well, I say cloths, I'm actually using face, face wipes to clean stuff. So this is actually another blonde shampoo. I do have quite a few of these. I've got the Evo Fabuloso Platinum Blonde Conditioner. I've got the Fenola No Yellow one. I might actually do a blog post on these because I've got quite a few of them. Like there's just loads of different ones in here. And then there's just so many shampoos and conditioners. I mean, really, there should be a better system to this, but there's not. I will say you can skip forward if need to be because this is going to be a blooming long clip and it's going to be a nightmare for me to edit as well as for you to watch so if you're interested in cleaning stuff and beauty products then i guess you're going to watch it because it's basically just me sat on the bathroom floor talking about products um and how many ridiculous amounts of shampoo and conditioner we've got because i get given so much of it this is the only thing about having good hair yes i'm giving myself some credit but having good hair means you end up with so many bloody shampoos and conditioners because every brand under the sun just wants to give you shampoo and conditioner um so actually let me talk you through how many we have. So we have the Maui ones in the shower. We also have the L'Oreal ones in the shower. I've got another Maui range up there. I've got another Maui range here. So this is the Agave one. We've got a random amount of Garnier Ultimate Blends Coconut Milk, which is one of my all-time faves. Then I have 
the Sugar Cleanse Paul Mitchell Neon ones in the shampoo and conditioner, obviously. Um, what else is there? We've got another um, Aussie. This is a Nourish one. I think I just mentioned this. I can't remember. Um, oh, then I have, yeah, the Maui ones I've just mentioned, the Garvey ones. I've got a Dove one, which I've just lost the other one to, but there was two a minute ago here. So this is the Strengthening, Strengthening Ritual Dove Nourishing Secrets Shampoo and Conditioner, um, which needs to go back in here. <sighs> Jesus, there's so many. Just, oh my God, this is becoming a nightmare. Like there's literally so many products. I'm just pulling out everything. Um, yeah, the Dove ones can go back in here. It's like loads of rubbish where we've just got random bits and pieces lying around. Okay, these Maui ones need to go back in. So this is the Maui, um, just like wiping all the dust off, you know, how you do. This is the Maui coconut milk shampoo and conditioner. This one smells insane. Just haven't got the, like, I can't keep everything in the shower at once. So I've been like chopping and changing them, but obviously like that's the ones I'm using right now. Um, I've also got this Kerastase one, Kerastase, I don't know how you say it. This range, the um, Reflections colour one. This is a really good range, um, just not using it at the moment. Okay, then we have another range that I wanted to mention. These will all be going on my blog in due time. It's obviously just a matter of like me needing to go through stuff. I also am thinking of doing a video of like my hair care secrets. So like products I'm absolutely obsessed with, products I use all the time, new in things, things I maybe don't like, that kind of stuff. Um, this is one I haven't tried yet, but I absolutely love the packaging. So this was actually one that I was planning on putting on the blog soon because it's very me. This is the kind of thing I would leave out because it looks nice. Um, so this is just these, I don't know how I say this, Sasha, Sasha Joan Stockholm, um, colour protecting hair repair, shampoo, conditioner and um, mask. But these are such beautiful bottles. I feel like these look great in like a bathroom shot. I know that's me thinking like a blogger, but I just think they'd look really good in like a flat lay and stuff. This clip is going to take me so long to edit. Sorry to my future self for having to edit this because it's a I actually have a few of these, so I might give one to a housemate, but that's actually really good. I use that a lot. We also have the Radox Full Vibrant Blood Orange and Ginger Scent. This is amazing. I literally love this stuff so much. We've gone through so many of these recently. I can't recommend them enough. If you get down to boots, you need to bloody buy one because they're fab. Um, stuff doesn't fit in the box. <laughs> ah! um, we have spare razors because you know, you can never have too many of those. Don't know why we've still got the packet, but we have lots of disposable razors. We also have a stupid amount of tampons which can go somewhere else. So this is like our little like odds and ends pot. So it's got like the razors in, it's got the scissors in, it's got some hair scissors, it's got a hair painty brushy thing. It's got the spare end for my um, facial brush and it's got a spare toothbrush which looks really rank so that's going in the bin. <laughs> okay, we're good. Um, also, I forgot to mention these. I have the Main and Tell um, Colour Protect Shampoo and Conditioner which this is going to be a bloody long video but it's fine. You can skip this bit if you need to. Um, these are the Colour Protect ones. They're really good. They've just been in the shower but I'm taking them out to switch them out for a bit. If you could see this box right now, I'll show you. This is all shampoos and conditioners. So I'm thinking I might give some to my housemates because there is a lot in here. Um, it just, I feel like by the time we go through stuff, there's so much more put back in. So it's just end, like an endless pot. Um, there's an Express Yourself Rituals shower gel, which I actually was gonna give to mum. So I need to actually give that to mum. So that can go in the mum pile. She has her own pile growing in the corner, as always. I also have this as well, which I'm trying to sort out. There's um, a Tupperware under our sink and it's full of face masks because me and Adrian use a lot of face masks. So it's actually going a bit thin at the moment. There's not much in here, but we've got the, um, that's a moisturizer. We've got the Proactive Skin Purifying Mask, which is really, really good if you have um, acne prone skin or even just blemish prone skin. We've got a few nose pore strips, which I didn't realize we had, and we've just bought more of them. So that's handy, I can put those in there. Um, there's two of the Pure Active Matcha Detox ones, which I might give one to my housemate because I know she likes stuff like that. And then we have a black seaweed peel off, which I forgot we had. There's a Tilika bubble, ma bubble mask, bubble mask, 
there's a simple pollution protect mask um and we have so many masks like there's literally so many there's loads of these ones where did these come from i showed these in a vlog a few weeks ago these are from skin republic there's a hydro gel under eye patch brightening collagen mask eye mask bubble mask loads Thank you.